Afternoon cactus people. Uh, some of you might remember when we planted these Apuntia cuttings back in the winter. Uh, they were given to me by some friends from the British Cactus and Succulent Society. And these ones we put straight into gravel. There's no compost at all in there. And we're just hoping that they've rooted. Uh, they're all showing signs of um, good top growth at the moment and some of them have still got their leaves on from last year. So now we're going to do a live undigging so to speak. And I've not dug any of these out previously, I'm doing this for the camera. And so we're going to dig up and we're going to see if there's any roots on them. So bear with me. resistance there. In fact, quite a bit of resistance. Well, that's the end of one of the other cuttings, but yeah, there's some very good root growth on the first one. A bit tangled up, so I'll try and pull it out on that one as well. These are very spiky punches. They don't call it Eve's Needle for nothing. And yeah, we've got very good root growth on both of those. I'm going to take them apart a bit. Well, they're very much entertained with There we go. That's two good ones. Complete with needles. on that one. And now for the big ones. Now these gloves aren't totally thorn proof. Yeah, again, not bad. on that one. one of the big ones. I'm just going to keep these separate. Two more smaller ones. Yep, there's a bit of root there. what I call 100% success in rooting. So the next bit will be to pop them up. If I can get let go of them. Okay, so now we've got uh, the gravel that they were grown in, nothing wrong with that, it's not anything added to it. They were just watered once, maybe twice a month while they were in there. And this one is composted bark, nothing more. I don't want these to go too mad because they can get to be very big plants. So uh, just enough to keep them going for the time being. Uh, three large pots for the larger cuttings and five for the smaller ones. Right, so this is the same mix mixed together 50-50. Um, one of the smaller pots. The bark stops it falling through at the bottom, so no need to put any uh, crocs in the bottom of this one. And again, filling it up about halfway. Let's pick one that will actually fit into that box. So let's try in. Lovely. And then just gently fill it. Keeping a 
time steady and trying not to spear yourself at the same time. And I'm aiming for about the same level as it was when it was in the grit. Enough for it to get it through to enough to keep it steady. And then tap that down to settle it in. And then see what he's like. He's fine. I'll put a top dressing, dressing of um, pure grit on the top of that. Let's uh, This will stop any weeds coming up and steady the plant while it takes root properly. Now, leave that for about five to seven days before watering, let the roots settle in. So, we don't want to risk any uh, infection should there have been any damaged bits on the roots. Okay, we're um, just on the last cutting now. Potted mm -hmm. up all the others quite successfully. Get this one in. Now you probably noticed that uh, at all sorts of different angles, you know, they, they should sort themselves out over time. From what I've noticed of this plant, it's geotropic, that is, it can feel gravity and it knows which way is up and which way is down, so even if the old growth doesn't uh, rectify itself and uh, stand upright, the new growth should, unless it wants to form a side branch, which would be nice. So, and that's that one. I'm not going to bother staking these because, like I say, this should sort themselves out, but there's nothing wrong with putting a stake in if you're putting up a big cacti like this. Just till it roots itself and knows where it's, where it's, uh, which way it's going. to be attached to this one. Very much so. There. So there you are. Some successfully rooted a punches. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that's been helpful. See you in the next video. Bye for now.